So guys, today in this video I'm going to be showing you how to get controllable party members with inside Persona 3 FES. Now, this is the North American version, so it probably will not work on any other version besides this one. And huge shout out to TGE for making this possible. Link in the description to his channel and work to get the download from. So without further ado, let's get into this. So, you see all this code here, do you think you need to put it into some program and translate it. No, you don't, because it's already a proper pnatch file, which in certain cases you would, but this is all already, you know, translated, so you don't need to put it into an external program in order for that code to be translated. So, do not touch this code. This code is fine the way it is. Now, the only thing that I did was I edited the top part of the code because for some reason I thought something was going wrong with that part because usually when you do slash slash it should um, ignore that part of the code so but for some reason I was having trouble so I just deleted it just to be on the safe side another thing to note is go to view and go to, and go to check off file extension name so that you can edit the file or edit the file into a text or a pnet file on the fly because if you do not do this and you just put dot pnet it's not gonna go automatically to a pnatch file, so it would just help if you did that. And that's probably where your problem lied when you did this. Another thing to note, make sure that the file name is changed to the CRC name for the ISO, which can be found inside the code of PCSX2 or on the top bar of the console log. Also make sure that you're using 1.5. Essentially I use 1.5 for all the cheats that I use because 1.4 acts weird when you're using uh, pnatch files, so yeah. So this is just to show you what happens when you use it just as a text file. Obviously the cheat doesn't work and so you don't have direct commands. So this is why you need file extension on so that you can be like dot pnatch and it'll actually be a pnatch file instead of you thinking that it's pnatch file. <laughs> so yeah, essentially now that you're in the game and you have the pnatch file on, the direct command should work slash controllable party members, whatever you'd like to call it. So that is how you get controllable party members to work with inside Persona 3 FES. So be sure to go check out TGE's channel, link in the description below. Also, if you enjoyed the video, please be sure to leave a like. And if you want to see more content like this, please be sure to subscribe. I don't necessarily do tutorial videos all the time, as you can see from my other videos. I just generally like to make my own type of videos, so don't necessarily expect tutorials videos from me. Just expect, like, videos that I enjoy posting. But with this, a lot of people are asking me to post uh, a tutorial on how it's a install it and how to use it so I figured I'd help those people out so that they're not getting all pissed off and want to whip their mouse at their monitor so yeah um, but I will be making another video on how pnatch files work because I was struggling with pnatch files or how to get them to work at first with PCSX2 and there isn't really any great tutorials out there on YouTube so I'll be making a video just solely on pnatch files because it's kind of a bitch and it, like at first if you don't know what you're doing but once you get used to it it's the easiest thing in the world so yeah but with that i'll see you guys in the next video peace